Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem which is x to the power of 1 over 10 plus x to the power of 1 over 15 plus x to the power of 1 over 30 this is equal to 84. So what is the value of x given that x is an element of real numbers? Now let's provide a solution from here. We can express x to the power of 1 over 10. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 over 30 then plus x to the power of 2 multiplied by 1 over 30 then plus x to the power of 1 over 30 this is equal to 84 now x to the power of 3 times 1 over 30 this is in the form of a to the power of n times m which you can express as a to the power of n raised to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 1 over 30 raised to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 1 over 30 raised to the power of 2, then plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is equal to 84. So we have that x to the power of 1 over 30 is common here and that implies that we can let x to the power of 1 over 30 be equal to u. Substituting u where we have x to the power of 1 over 30 this becomes u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 then plus u this is equal to 84. The next step is to take 84 on the left hand side so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u minus 84. This is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u minus 84. Minus 84 can be expressed as minus 64 minus 16 minus 4 this is equal to 0 so we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 plus u minus 64 which is 4 to the power of 3 minus 16 which is 4 to the power of 2 subtract 4 this is equal to 0 so we have u to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 3 here so we can write this as u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 then plus u to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 then plus u minus 4 this is equal to 0 now we have got the first part here this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 we have the second part here, which is the difference of perfect, perfect squares that can be expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now we have that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same thing as a minus b. Into the parentheses, this is a squared plus a times b plus b to the power of 2. Applying this identity, then u to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3. This can be expressed as u minus 4. Then here we have u to the power of 2 plus 4u, then plus 4 squared, which is 16. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have u to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2. We can express this as u plus 4, then u minus 4. This is equation 2. So this implies we have u minus 4, u squared plus 4u plus 16, then plus u plus 4, multiplied by u minus 4, then plus, here we have u minus 4, this is equal to 0. As you can see here, u minus 4 is common here 
So this means we can factor out u subtract 4. Now, into the parentheses, we have u squared plus 4u plus 16, then plus u plus 4, then we have plus, here we have 1, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have u subtract 4 into the parentheses here, this is u squared, we have 4u plus u, this is plus 5u, then plus, now this is 16, plus 4, this is 20 plus 1, this is 21, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here, such that we have u minus 4, this is equal to 0, and we have u squared plus 5u plus 21, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that u is equal to 4. The second part here is a quadratic equation, where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 21. So, the next step is to assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation here by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4bc. So here we have 5 squared subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 21. So this implies that we have 5 squared, this is 25, minus, this is 21 times 4, this is 84. So this is 25 minus 84, and this is equal to minus 59, which is less than 0. And this implies we have two complex roots here. We have two complex roots. And in other words, there is no real solution that can be obtained from this quadratic equation part here. So this means that the quadratic equation is rejected. Since x is a member of real numbers. So let's focus on u, which is equal to 4. Now given that u is equal to 4, and if you recall, we have seen that let x to the power of 1 over 30 be equal to u. In this case, u is equal to 4. So we have x to the power of 1 over 30, this is equal to 4. To solve for x here, let's multiply both signs by, let's raise this to the power of 30 on both signs, so that now, here we have x to the power of 1 over 30, multiplying by 30, this is equal to 4 to the power of 30, so that we simplify 30 and that here, so that x is equal to 4 to the power of 30. Now, this is the value of x. This is the value of x. Now, let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So, if you recall, we have that x to the power of 1 over 10 plus x to the power of 1 over 15 plus x to the power of 1 over 30. This is supposed to give us a value of 84. Now let's substitute x here. So we have 4 to the power of 30 raised to the power of 1 over 10, then plus 4 to the power of 30 raised to the power of 1 over 15, then plus 4 to the power of 30, raised to the power of 1 over 30. This is supposed to give us a value of 84. Okay. So, 4 to the power of 30 to the power of 1 over 10, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n multiplied by m. And this implies that here we have 4, to the power of 30 times 1 over 10 
10 plus 4 to the power of 30 multiplied by 1 over 15. 10 plus 4 to the power of 30 multiplied by 1 over 30. This is supposed to give us a variable of 84. Let's simplify here. That divided by 10, this is 3. So we have 4 to the power of 3. Then plus that divided by 15, this is equal to 2. So we have 4 squared, then plus 30, and that simplifies. So plus 4, this should give us a value of 84. Okay. 4 to the power of 3, this is 64. Plus 4 to the power of 2, this is 16. Then plus 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 84. Now, 64 plus 16, this is equal to 80. Plus 4, this is 84, which is equal to 84. So the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And therefore, the value of x, which is 4 to the power of 30, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.